Hey, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Plebabe, and today I have a video log coming for you guys. I'm gonna hit you this video log here today. Today's May 1st. Happy May, guys. And hopefully, your April was fantastic. I'm gonna tell you a few stories about what's going on with me, how my 19th birthday was, and all that fun stuff. So, let's start with it. On April 24th, I turned 19 years old. Now, the, for those of you who do not know, in Canada, 19 is the age of majority which means that you can go and you can party, you can go to bars and clubs, you can buy liquor legally, and you can buy uh, tobacco products, all that fun stuff, right? Tobacco's not really fun, that's bad for you, but, you know, you can go out and do all that fun stuff now. Now, I know in America and in other places it's a lot different. Like, in America, the legal drinking age and stuff like that is the age of 21, but here in Canadian land, it's 19, so, you know, last Thursday, I had a great time. I went down on Friday. I didn't do anything Thursday night on my birthday. I streamed that day. I was tired, so, you know what? I decided just to go Friday, drive down two hours away from where I live, down to my buddy's place. He's going to school down in a place called Moncton. We call Monkey Town. They have a lot of bars down there. Their downtown area is fantastic. So I ended up driving down there by myself on Friday. I stayed at his house that he's living in for school with his other four or five roommates. I think two girls and three guys plus himself. And I stayed in uh, one of the rooms that was empty because one of the roommates actually just moved out. So we ended up, uh, we started out, we ended up going to a strip club. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it wasn't my first time going to a strip club. Over in a different part of Canada, in Quebec, it's only 18 to be able to legally drink, smoke, go to clubs and strip clubs and stuff like that. So we ended up going to a strip club. That was my second time to a strip club. It was pretty fun. I met a couple, of, actually, I met a lot of cool dudes there. I'm one of those people that I like meeting people and talking with people and be like, hey, what's up? And just like meeting new faces and stuff like that. Of course, there's a, there's a big group of like 20 dudes there for a bachelor party. So I ended up introducing myself to them. You know, sat down with the boys, had a few beer, had a great time. I don't condone drinking, by the way. If you're underage, wait, you'll have a lot more fun. Anyways, so I met, I met a few new boys, sat down with them, had a few beer, had a good laugh or two. And then we went up to the front where the ladies are dancing on the poles. It's just, if you're not old enough and you're a gamer, whatever, you have gone to a strip club on GTA, I guarantee you have. It runs exactly the same way. No word of a lie. I'm not kidding you. The guy that was getting married, that it was his last night before he got married, he brought like $200 in American dollar bills to the strip club. So every time he's seen a nice girl, he could just scrunch one up and throw it at her right onto the stage. So he started handing us all dollar bills and telling us so that when he counted down from three to one to crush that bill and throw it at that stripper. And of course, me being the guy that I am, that's exactly what I did. Oh, it was a great time. We had a fantastic time. Got a few dances. Then we were out of there. We didn't want to stay there too long. Because if you don't know, it's expensive to get a dance from a stripper. It really is. Like, I'm not talking like prostitute expensive because that's like a lot of dough, okay? I'm talking about lap dance expensive, like $20 a song. And if you go in there and you're too fucked up, you don't know what's going on, then they'll start halfway through a song. Guess what? You still pay $20. $20 for half a song. Some songs, you know, they cut short. Maybe it's a six minute song. They cut it to three or four minutes. Stingy fucks. So after that, we got picked up by two of his roommates that weren't drinking. They were drinking finally when we got down there, but they weren't drinking before that. So we ended up going downtown. We went to the first club we seen. It's called Bombers. Fantastic time. I walked in there. I literally walked into Bombers, went up to the bar, and I said, how much for a tray of shots? They were like $45. I was like, that sounds good to me. Bought a tray of shots, gave pass around all my Moncton friends that people I just met, my buddy that I've known for like a really, really long time. We all just had a few shots and then there was like nobody there. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy another tray. Bought another tray. There's about 15 shots on it. Drank those ones by myself. Had a few beer at the strip club. Mind you that. Plus I had six beer before we left. I forgot to mention, we also went to the casino that night. My first time going to a casino, I literally sat down at a roulette table. It's like the one they take the ball and they spin it around the outside and it lands on a number. I had absolutely Absolutely no idea what I was doing. I'll keep that in mind. So I literally sat down. I handed her four. I put forty dollars down on the table. You have to throw it down. You can't hand it to them. So it was like this. Threw down two twenty-dollar bills, Canadian bills. She gave me my chips, and I was like, okay. Now my birthday was on April twenty-fourth. 
Today is the 25th. Now, am I gonna go on the inside or the outside? Now, if you know, if you play on the outside, the outside, you have a 50-50 chance. You can put it on red or you can put it on black. The numbers are red or black. Sometimes there's like a few beige ones, but it will like never land on that. If it does, then like, what the fuck? I put it on black. I was like, black, I'm feeling black. Guess what? Black it is. He putting it on black. I'm like, black, black, black. All my friends are like, no, 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 no. Red, red, we're gonna put it on red. It's like, whatever, I'm staying on black. Don't even, don't even worry about it. End it up. Winning again. I'm racking up the money. I'm like, ooh, this is crazy. So I'm like, hey, put down $50 on black for the third time in a row. Everyone's looking at me like, what? No way. We're going to win red this time. So they, of course, they all put all their chips on red. Guess what happens? Who's a winner? Three times in a row on black in roulette. I won myself $160 plus the money that I came there with. Woke up and I had $20 left. Let's just say it was a good night. I had lots of fun. Lots, lots of fun. It was a fantastic night. Anyways, we went to lots of bars, got super wasted, met some girls. Went back to my buddy's house, bought some food, had a nice sleep. Woke up the next morning still hammered. Went to bed for a few more hours, left in the afternoon, took the long drive home. Got home, went downstairs, didn't even come near this setup. I was like, I'm not dealing with this right now. Lied down, watched some movies on Netflix, passed out, woke up the next day, feeling fantastic. 19 years old, had a great 19th birthday. And that's the end of my story, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video log video. If you'd like to see more of this, make sure to let me know down below. If you really enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, like, rating. All that stuff really means a lot. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that too. And again, guys, thank you for coming to watch this video. It means so much to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.